The euro is trading at uh, 99, 99 to 1. Get, the, the, get those euros, folks, to go to the Amalfi Coast, man. You get the pound uh, 117, and the yen is trading at 137 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction Chairs, folks. And as you come over to our website, at TFNN, hit that direction banner, and it's going to bring you over. And you are going to see right when you hit that banner out here today is that we have the Direction Daily uh, Tesla Bull, a 1.5. A bear, a one-to-one. -one. Dave Mazza, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, happy to be back. Okay, so hey, let's talk. Let's talk about uh, this Tesla, uh, the 1.5 on the bull side, the one on the bear side. The two symbols, folks. Okay, so the bull side is T S L L, the bear side is T S. -L -L. LS. So if you can walk us through, Dave, how these are going to work, that'd be awesome. Yeah, happy to do so. So uh, we're really excited about the launch of TSLL and TSLS uh, because they provide, on one hand, upside daily upside exposure to 1.5 times to the common shares of Tesla, and then conversely, an inverse exposure on the 1x side. Now, for those folks familiar with Directions products, we know that they're really for tactical traders. You have to ha have the interest and ability to make buy, sell, and hold decisions on a daily basis. Yes. But they actually function exactly the same way. Um, so, you know, TechL is a basket of S&P 500 technology stocks. SoxL, a basket of semiconductor stocks. The difference here is this is just one security. So it's definitely going to be more volatile. It's just, a, you know, a direct relationship with Tesla. But what I, what what we found really encouraging, and, and these funds are barely, you know, a little over a week old, is really a lot of interest already. Um, right. and maybe that's not a, maybe that's not a surprise. Really nice volume in TSLL. Yeah. You know, as folks are looking, especially we know the share split on Tesla's coming this week, looking to position for that to take advantage of the fact that shares have gotten beaten down, took that bounce back, and so we really encourage, you know, again for traders who are interested have the ability to do that monitoring, put this in their toolkit, because maybe you have uh, an interest in, in Tesla, now you can express, again, on shorter for shorter term views, amplified exposure that might be easier than going out using margin or going to go try to uh, price uh, price a call option or even a put option. I'm, glad, I'm so glad you just brought that up, Dave, because that's, that's uh, my next question, because check this out, folks. This is really cool. So the... Tesla's trading, folks, at $869. So if we look at the, the bull side, Dave, right, you know, we started these off at a much lower price. So that means that a lot more people, listen, if, um, if you're not a trader, folks, don't trade these, okay, because it's a daily deal. But for all of us that do, it's really cool, man, because you're talking about $24 versus like 800 and something dollars change. Yeah, so that's a big part of it too. Is that you know you uh, just the share price is more accessible to to retail investors. Um, so uh, that that's that's a big benefit. You know, the uh, there's been a history of stock, stock splits there, and uh, at least uh, on Tesla, that's a conversation for another day. But you know, the idea here is that um, there on one hand, it's been great, and and some for some of the newer upstart brokerages aren't don't offer margin, they don't offer options. Others do. And there's people, uh, you know, that are part of the that, that are dialing in right now that say, Dave, you know, I know how to use options, and, and that's great. Um, but many others, it can be complicated. It also can be costly. So um, that's why I think, you know, these, uh, particularly the inverse, although the the bull funds caught on more, can be really beneficial. Let's say you're a massive bull. Anything Elon Musk does is great. Right. Uh, and there's plenty of plenty of folks out there. But you're, hey, I'm concerned about this earnings season or. I'm not sure if this month's uh, production numbers are going to hit targets. I don't want to touch my long holdings. Maybe, I, maybe I've done really well, right. and I have a ton of embedded gains. But for that one- or two-day period, um, I can actually use TSLS to provide me that kind of del delta neutral hedge um, to, ta to, to take advantage of and limit the potential downside that could come without impacting – uh, your long-standing position and and long-term viewpoint on the stock. It's huge. It's huge. And what you also have, folks, is this. And we just brought up the option. So pitch this. I just pulled up an in the money, eight sixty-eight. And the bottom line is it's going to cost you five percent. 
Uh, and I'm talking about expiration, uh, oh, well, that's the September 16th. But the bottom line is it's $48 for an in-the-money call, one, you know. So the, the point's well taken, man, uh, particularly that you know that there's plenty of people with uh, longer-age plans, and to be Delta neutral just for that day is a huge deal. Delta neutral, folks, means you won't, won't lose or win. Uh, it's going to be very close just to let the earnings event happen. Well, this is really exciting, Dave. Uh, it's a brave new world. There's no doubt about it, and we're going to be diving into it. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking to you next week, Dave. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you.